Wait a second. Aha! So not this guy, but this guy. A piggy bank! I know, such a novel idea, right? You think a pig, pig skull, make a piggy bank out of it? I don't know. I don't know why I haven't thought about this before. Uh, this particular skull, it's going to be interesting. We're going to do some learning along the way, myself included. Um, I've got some designs on there already. As you can see, this will end up being a gift and you'll kind of figure it out as I go. We're going to put a slot about right here and then we'll use a cork to cork it up. And then the money, the coins, will just collect in the brain cavity. Enough chit chat though, let's get started. I just tried doing cross hatching on the gazelle as opposed to uh, doing a more realistic look like the fur, the hair uh, on the gazelle. It looks okay. You know, it's worth a try. The gazelle is done and I've already started cutting uh, any straight lines that are on the skull. I'm using a number 109, so you can see here. There we go, all these nice crisp straight lines. I've gone through, cut them all already. Uh, like I said, number 109. And the rest of the, um, yeah, you can see I already started here as well uh, with some of this filigree scroll work. And all of that is actually pretty simple. Um, I'm using a number 106, and then sometimes a number 105 to get in some of the small parts and that's just to do the outlining. And while I'm carving that, I'm gonna explain a little bit what all these different designs mean. So roughly eight or nine years ago, I was working as a trash collection guy at a dump, okay, where you take your trash if you live in the country. And I was in college working multiple jobs. Uh, I was there one day and someone threw this book away. I pulled it out of the trash. Yeah, that's just me. And it was called The Total Money Makeover and the author was Dave Ramsey. So I read the book just because I like finance stuff, and the book was all about how debt is a bad thing and not necessarily something you want to use. Fast forward a couple years, so I got married, um, so that would have been four or five years ago, and me and my wife together uh, started on this process called the baby steps. So on the front of the skull there, you're gonna see these little baby steps. There's seven of them. Uh, there's significance for each of them. Number one is save $1,000. Number two is pay off all your debt. Number three, save an emergency fund, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we did that. Um, we saved $1,000, we paid off all our debt, and we saved an emergency fund, and now we're in step 3B, which is save for a house. So we are going to pay cash for a house. Uh, as weird as that sounds, that is what we're planning to do. So we're just stashing away as much money as we can. We live in a basement. We live on a budget every single month. And it's hard. Uh, you know, it's not easy, but like the saying on the skull says, uh, a quote from Dave Ramsey, um, if you live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. So that's our plan. And the gazelle is the whole idea of like debt being this lion and you're the gazelle. So we are running as fast as we can like a gazelle away from debt in order to have a secure financial future. Okay, you probably don't care much about my financial ramblings, but it's related to what we're carving here. Um, before we move on to the lettering, really quickly, I wanna show you a couple things about tracing designs. Now to get a really nice outline around a design using a ball type burr, um, your first cut is gonna look similar to this, okay? Um, if you come back with a uh, rounded Christmas tree type of cross cut burr, um, 
it'll end up looking like this after you remove the material. That kind of sets the design, um, raises it above the rest of the skull. Then come back with a, an inverted cone type of burr to notch out this area right here. And what you'll end up with is a nice clean cut like that. It'll make the design a lot more crisp and make it stand out more. Okay, moving right along to the next part of this carving is the lettering. I'm going to be using an inverted cone for all the straight edges, um, a number 108 from Dremel, and then for stuff like S's and O's, I'll use a number 105 ball type of burr. So let's get into it. more carving to finish the first stage of that skull. While I'm doing that, I'm going to cook up some walnut stain for the skull. You'll see how this turns out. This is kind of the learning process. I'll tell you a little bit more um, as we go along, and then we'll start the second part of the carving. Okay, so here goes nothing. Um, I am really not sure how this skull has been cleaned or treated, so I'm not 100% this is going to work out, but there's only one way to find out. And of course, the skull is too big for the pot. Now the question is, how is it going to carve? So I have carved other skulls that I stained first and then carved over. And generally speaking, when you carve into the bone, the bone itself is lighter. It's just kind of the outer layer of the bone uh, that is stained. So it should create like a, a two-tone look. That's what I'm going for. We'll see if that happens. Okay, so I think it's actually working now for the rest of the story. So in the beginning of the video, I said this was a gift, right? And it is. Um, once we do pay cash for a house in the future, um, it won't be much, but it'll be paid for. We are going to drive down to Tennessee, and that's where this guy, Dave Ramsey, uh, has his business. And we are going to thank him. And he has a radio show. Uh, you can schedule in advance, get on his radio sh show. And I'm going to give him this skull as a thank you for the, the principles that he teaches. You know, it's a piggy bank. It's really cool. Obviously, all the symbolism on it that relates to um, the stuff that he teaches. So I think it's, it's going to be cool. You know, it'll be a great um, time for our family. It'll be a really cool gift for him. You know, the piggy bank, right? Save your money. So that, in a nutshell, uh, is what's going on here. Okay, so I think this is actually done. Uh, I have to put a couple more teeth in and just fix a couple little things, but uh, let's see if it works. Oops. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
This is cool. I'll get a cork and I'll stick it in the back there. How cool is that? Thanks everybody for watching and if you have a hog skull, make a piggy bank out of it. It's really cool and carve it up too if you like. And Mr. Ramsey, if by the off chance that you're watching this video, I'm gonna come down one day and personally give this to you uh, at your place in Tennessee and it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. Um, I was gonna film this last bit tomorrow, but uh, the kids are in bed and I have some other work to do, so I was like, ah, eh, I'll just go ahead and film it tonight and upload it. A couple things really quickly. Uh, I've been reporting just recently the income I make on YouTube ads, okay, uh, in the description of the video. So what I'm gonna start doing is just report um, what I make yearly. So uh, what you see in the description is what I will have made to date so it's January right now so it's obviously not going to be much but just to clarify that it'll kind of put it into a little bit better perspective than what I what I was doing other thing was a special thank you to Jeremy and Matthew for leaving uh, nice reviews on my Facebook page uh, I really appreciate appreciate you doing that and I'm glad I can be of some help to you guys and then uh, just to kind of give another plug uh, to Casey, uh, he has a business where he makes skull hangers, uh, Krennic skull hangers, uh, or skull brackets. Um, I did a review a couple videos back, if you saw that. Uh, if you haven't, take a look back again. But there was something happened with uh, an email I sent out to all the companies, and for whatever reason, a glitch, or possibly maybe I didn't even send it uh, out of error, uh, he didn't receive that email. So he got a lower grade uh, because of that. But it's not his fault, uh, so no hard feelings, man. Um, check him out, he's got great products. If you're looking for a skull hanger, check him out. I'll leave a description to his website, uh, or a link to his website in the description of this video. All right, guys, that's it for me. I will see you again in my next video.